Sunlight generates electricity. What's the principle behind solar cells? A solar panel has many layers, but the core is the silicon wafer. A silicon atom has four outer electrons. It shares them to form a stable structure. Here, electrons can't move freely. But we can add phosphorus, which has five electrons. This creates an extra free-moving electron. But sunlight alone can't create a current. The electrons move randomly. To make them flow, we need a driving force. The simplest method is a PN junction. The side with added phosphorus is called the N-type. On the other side, we add boron, which has three electrons. This creates a missing electron called a hole. This is the P-type. When the two sides meet, electrons from the N-type fill holes in the P-type. This creates a depletion region with no free charges. This leaves the N-type side positive and the P-type side negative, creating an electric field, our driving force. When sunlight hits, its energy creates new electron-hole pairs. The electric field pushes electrons to the N-type and holes to the P-type. As sunlight continues, voltage builds up. When we connect a wire, electrons flow from N-type to P-type, creating a current. The electrons then combine with holes in the P-type. This allows a continuous current to flow. However, solar panels produce direct current, or DC. To power appliances, it must be converted to alternating current, or AC, with an inverter. Solar is a clean, green energy. The process is pollution-free and silent, making it an ideal power source. But it depends on sunlight. It doesn't work at night or on cloudy days. Real-world efficiency is also much lower than in labs.